So some of you are struggling with how we do word problems in dimensional analysis. So I wanted to write a short little video here so we can step through a fairly complicated word problem and you see the process by which you could do it, the kind of step-to-step -step motions you would go through. So obviously the first step in any kind of word problem is to read through the problem. You know, sometimes it's tempting just to look at the numbers and see if it makes sense to you, but it really does make a lot more sense to just slowly read through it first get your bearings on it, and then come back and look at the numbers. So our word problem here is apples produce cyanide gas on chewing. There is 700.0 milligrams of cyanide per kilogram seeds, and each seed weighs about 0 0.700 grams. How many seeds would it take to kill an average American male, 88.32 kilograms, if the lethal dose is 1.50 milligrams per kilogram, All right? So now we've got the basic lay of the land. We've talked about the problem. We know we're talking about apples. We know we're talking about cyanide. How do we now take this and turn it into a math problem? Well, our next step is going to be to pull out the information. So you see how I've pulled out this first number, 700 milligrams of cyanide per kilogram of seeds? All I'm doing is I'm going back into the problem. I'm looking at the problem and I'm saying, okay, where are the numbers in my problem? And I said, here's one. 700 milligrams cyanide per kilogram of seeds. And I've converted that into a unit factor like we use in dimensional analysis. 700 milligrams of cyanide over one kilogram of seeds. Now I've got another one right after it. It said each seed weighs about 0 0.700 grams. So I can convert that into a, another factor. 0.700 grams of seeds per one seed. We keep going down to the problem. We see, oh, average American male, and then it gives a mass. So there's our third one. 88.32 kilograms of male per male. And our last one here is the lethal dose, and it actually gives it the closest to what we normally see in a dimensional analysis problem. Now we can infer a couple of units in here. So 1.50 milligrams of cyanide over one kilogram of male. That's pulling the information out of the problem. And it gives us two um, pieces of information here. One, it gives us our units that we're going to unit, use in unit analysis, or like we also call factor analysis or dimensional analysis. And it also allows us to tell right now what the number of significant figures are in this problem. Because if we go back and we look at just the numbers, because remember, it's only the data that matters for significant figures. We have four there. We've got three there. Four there. And three there. So we know that our final answer is going to be three significant figures to match up to the lowest number, which is the three sig figs. Our next step is going to be determine how to put these units together into a mathematical process. To do that, the first question we have to ask ourselves is, what's the answer supposed to look like, right? So to get to that, what's the answer supposed to look like, we need to look for the interrogative statement, the who, what, when, where, how type statement in the problem. Unfortunately, we got one. It says right here, how many seeds would it take to kill an average American male, right? So that tells us that our answer is going to be in seeds per male. Now I want you to note when I wrote these units out, I was very specific about the units. I didn't just write milligram or kilogram. I wrote milligrams of cyanide or kilograms of male or kilogram of seeds. And that's because units are specific. We can only cancel out units that are identical. I can't cancel out kilograms of apple with kilograms of orange, right? So kilogram of seeds is not going to cancel out kilogram of male not just enough for them to be kilograms, they have to be the same kilograms for them to mathematically cancel. So we want to be very descriptive in our units when we set up these problems. So now we know what our answer is supposed to be, seeds per male. Our next step is to decide how we use the data we have. Now a good step to do when you're doing dimensional analysis is always start your first unit having one of the units in the answer in place. So I want to start with something that either has seed on top or male on bottom. Now I've got two possibilities if I look up at my problem here, right? I've got this guy here, right? The 0 
zero grams of seeds per seed, and I've got the 88.32 kilograms of male per male. Both of those have one of the units I want, seed and male, but one of them is actually better than the other. If I tried to use the grams of seeds over seeds, I would have to invert it, right? I'd have to put seeds on top, which would be one seed over 0 0.700 grams of seeds. It's not impossible, it works. It's mathematically clumsy because what happens is you often screw up the math if you start with a non-unitary, a non-one digit on the bottom. So it's much better to start with the other option, the 88.32 kilograms of male over one male, because then I've got 88.32 over one, and I've already got male in place. I don't have to worry about male anymore. The rest of the problem is about converting kilogram of male into seed. That's it, because male's stuck in the place it's supposed to be. So we'll start with 88.32 kilograms of male over male, and we'll cross that one out because we've already used it. Now our next step is, again, not dealing with male. Male's done. Dealing with kilogram of male. Do I have another factor up there that has kilogram of male in it? And if I look, I do. Over here on the side, I've got 1.50 milligrams of cyanide per kilogram of male. Kilogram of male is on the bottom. I want it to be on the bottom because I want it to be able to be crossed out with my kilogram of male on top here. So if I put that in place as my next unit, that's going to cancel this kilogram of male with that kilogram of male. And if I were to do the mathematics right now, it would be milligram of cyanide per male, right? So cross that one out, done with it. Now, I'm in milligrams of cyanide per male, because remember, kilograms of male cancel out. Milligram of cyanide per male. Of these two, do either of them contain milligrams of cyanide? Sure, that guy right there. Now, I don't want to put it in the way it is. So I put it in the way it is, it's going to be milligram of cyanide times milligram of cyanide. So I want to invert it. I want to flip it upside down to put it in. So when I put it in, I flip it upside down. Now milligram of cyanide cancels out milligram of cyanide. I've used that factor. Now I'm in kilograms of seed per male, because these two have canceled and these two have canceled, right? Now I run into a problem. I don't have anything up here left that says kilogram of seeds. But I got one that says gram of seeds. So this is where I'm going to use that metric conversion. Metric conversion is our friend here. I can convert kilograms of seeds into grams of seeds. All I need to know is the conversion factor between grams and kilograms. So I'm going to put a conversion factor in here. And this is why I'm putting it in a different color, because it's not data from the problem. It's a conversion factor within the metric system, right? All I'm doing is multiplying this value by one, and I'm changing the unit by the way I'm doing it. See, kilogram of seeds will cancel out. It will leave me in gram of seeds because there are 1,000 grams per one kilogram. So now I'll end up in grams of seed per male. And my last unit up here has grams of seed in it and seed on the bottom there. So if I invert it, right, that gets rid of the grams of seeds and it puts me in seed per male, which are the units I want here at the end and I've used all my data. So then it's just a mathematical process. All I gotta do is I gotta take this math and do it. Now, when you're doing this math, anything on the top you multiply, anything on the bottom you divide. So it'd be 88.32 times 1.5 divided by 700 times 1,000 divided by 0 0.700, right? That's exactly how you do it in a calculator. You just go straight across. This times this divided by that multiply by that, divided by that, all right? Now, the transposition law says we can mix them around all we want, but I try to keep it simpler and just try to keep them in the same order they are in the problem. When you do, you're gonna end up with this big old long number from your calculation, right? This is what the calculator is gonna tell you is the right answer. But as I've always told you, the calculator simply does the math. It doesn't account for the real world. We don't have this level of precision in the real world. According to our problem, we only have three significant figures in the final answer. So our final answer has to be composed of these three digits and the three is our rounding digit. Since the three is our rounding digit, it's going to round down. So our final answer is going to be 270 seeds per male. And hopefully this has helped you kind of work through a story problem and you can use this as a guided material to help you in further problems of this type.